Dippin' Dots has a crazy story. The company was founded back in 1988. They ended up going bankrupt in 2011. And then an oil tycoon bought the business for $12 million in 2012. And then in 2019, they were doing over $330 million in revenue. What they did that was so different is they not only went direct to grocery and bought a popcorn brand, so you got the sweet and salty, but then they ended up licensing Dippin' Dots Quick Freeze technology to pharma companies and plant meat companies for huge fees. So a lot of that came back to the fact that they had these manufacturing capabilities in the first place. It's like, yeah. okay, we know you can do this with your factory, but what is the highest leverage opportunity that we can get out of this, right? So mm. that's what big companies are really good at is like, how do you squeeze every little dollar that you can possibly make with what you have?